Today I'm going to show you how to use the new Hoverbox feature in Wix. Hoverbox is basically a rollover box that changes and does something different when you roll over it. This is something that's been uh, we've been waiting for it for a long time. It is in beta mode right now, but it will be available to all Wix websites uh, shortly. I'm in my picklewix.com website is in beta, so I'm going to have it available to me. To show you where you're going to find that is, is under the plus icon to add uh, elements. You want to scroll to box, and then um, at the top of this you'll see this. Uh, you just need to either scroll down or click on these handy little uh, dots here to get to the hover box area and the next step is you want to simply choose one of their templates they have a whole bunch of templates to start with but keep in mind that none of these really matter uh, you can change everything about them so whatever one you pick don't worry you can certainly change it to be whatever you want um, as you edit it so here is my new little hover box when I click on it I can move it around I can resize it um, I can do these different things but uh, the next step is to figure out what you want on here. So there's this default stuff that you can either delete um, or you can edit it and change it to be what you want. You can use this hover box just like anything else and add pictures, um, add text icons, whatever it is that you want to add to this very easily, uh, just like you do with all other editing things. Now, you'll notice that I just added this little icon here. Now, this isn't actually yet attached to my hover box because it just places it on the page. To get it to attach to the hover box, you click on it, drag it, and hold it over at the hover box area. See how it's popping up a little attached to hover box here? That's how you get it to attach to the hover box. So that's one major problem I think a lot of people are running into. They can't figure out how to add elements to the hover box. So that's how you do that. Once I let go, as long as that add to hover box was, was there, it's going to now be part of that hover box. You can see that it is part of the hover box because as I move it, it's staying within that framework of that hover box now. So it's attached. Um, so there's two instances of your, of your hover box. What a hover box is essentially is a rollover. Uh, you can have set it up so that when somebody rolls over this, this box with their icon or with their mouse, they're going to see a different option or a different, uh, image or you can set up videos or different photos, different colors, text, anything you want. Um, so it's really cool that way. Uh, I'm going to delete out a couple of these things. You can also have animation. So let's say you want to animate it when somebody hovers. You can actually find some animation here and choose any of these animation icon items on any of the, the items on that page. You can even customize them so that you can adjust the duration or the delay uh, so maybe you have three items here and they each float in one by one you would just adjust these delays and the duration accordingly to have it go in the order you want um, now to say let's say I want to preview how this is working just simply click on preview and now when I roll over this you'll see that that text is it's rolling over and this other text is flying in. This isn't the most beautiful hover box, but uh, it's just a quick example to show you how it works. Click on back to editor to get back into the editing abilities. Um, and just a couple other quick tips on what you can do with the, the hover box, which are really cool. You can change the background. You can change it to any image you want. You can adjust the image. You can change the color behind the image. You can adjust the image opacity. So you can play around with like maybe the opacity is 0% when uh, it's in regular mode and then when on hover mode it goes down to 50% or something so that there's a color showing through. You can also set up video in the background. So you can find any image or any video within the Wix editor, <coughs> excuse me, and, uh, and upload that. You can even upload your own videos and use those as the background elements. So it's very, very cool. Um, let's say here I go, I put my, my background in there. That's a video. Uh, one thing that you can also do is go to settings and you can either disable the autoplay if you don't want it to play automatically. Um, it's by default, it's on, so it will play automatically. So let's go to preview again. I roll over, or I actually I should not roll over this. Um, you'll see that the video is moving there. When I roll over it, it takes me to my next one. So let's say I don't want it to autoplay, but I want it to 
play in the hover version. So I can click on this, hit change background, hit settings, click disable autoplay, and now it's not going to play until, uh, well, for example, what I need to do is actually apply it to the hover instance. So I'm going to do that. There's a little apply to hover um, tool here, which is very useful. It only applies the background part of it to the next version. So I can hit apply to hover, click yes, I want it applied. See how it just sit, hit, sit, said applied there. Now I click on here. Now that, that video is behind this. Now let's say I want, upon rollover, that's when I want this video to play. So now I click on it, change background, hit settings, and take off that disable autoplay. And so now I have the video playing, or not playing, but as soon as I roll over it, it's going to play. So very cool thing. It's, it's a way that it's added interactivity and fun stuff that you could used to do in Flash, and, and you can also do in HTML5. <clears throat> excuse me, but um, this this way is just so much greater and this is a great new feature to Wix because they didn't have a really good rollover. They did have a third party app, but it was a little cumbersome and did not have all the flexibility this has. Um, so this is a much better cool tool that you'll be able to start adding to all your Wix websites. So enjoy that. Um, if you have any questions, of course, um, feel free to visit picklewix.com and email me with any questions you have and uh, stay tuned for more tips coming on picklewix.com and on this YouTube channel. Thanks.